Ladies and gentlemen, comrades, welcome to episode 17 of The Quamfi Show. It's good to have you here. We need to have a chat. This highlight is not part of the regular episode. This is going to be an additional, an, 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 a, a separate highlight, if you will. You know, usually I'm taking it from the episode last week. Um, I did a video like this on the Dutch show, and uh, this is going to be for our English viewers by request. There's a couple of things that bother me, and uh, I needed to get that off my chest in Dutch, but it also applies very much to English. And it's about the following. There's a lot of complaining. There was a lot of complaining. Um, I mean, people always complain in communities. And planning is fine, right? We've been going sideways for a while, downwards trend, yada, yada, yada. Um, and everybody can do with their money whatever they want. I know a lot of you guys got in at the end of 2021. In 2021, uh, you bought the candles upwards. And now you have regrets that you either bought between 100 and 300 and didn't sell at 400 or that you bought the absolute top stuff like that um there's also a couple of you here that round trip just like i did right got in well before 100 so i'll go all the way up and then got the decimated still holding waiting for the bull run and then there's there's all these people of either of these categories that are coming into our groups and are like Quant's going to miss this bull run, right? Utility time is not there. Um, it's just not going to fucking happen. And everybody's entitled to their opinion. Yeah, there's a little bit of religion, maybe a little bit of a lot um, required to a huddle, right? Uh, an asset like UNT or anything else, if you will, um, through difficult times. But if you are convinced that quant is not going to pump in this coming bull run why are you not selling why are you holding on to an asset that you have no confidence in whatsoever waiting for the next bull i simply don't get it and there's a lot of you you guys are so afraid to lose money that you're complaining every single goddamn day in every fucking chat that Quant's going to miss the bull run. But then when I ask some of you, why aren't you selling? It's because you don't know what else to buy. Okay. That is never my problem, nor anyone else's, because that is up to you, yeah? The financial decisions that led you here are also the decisions that need to get you out of here, that can get you out of here. Nobody else can do that but you. If you followed somebody else's advice to buy Q&T at the top, and now you're just holding because you're too scared to make decisions again, but looking to other people for advice to buy something else, that's a different story altogether. The research that you did to get into QT is the thing that will get, get you out, that can get you out. If you decide right now, it's like, nah, Quant's gonna miss this run, but I'm just gonna hold until the next bull run because that's gonna be good. That's fine. Love it, love the dedication, but please shut the fuck up, right? Please stop crying, please stop bitching. Please stop moaning. Please stop posting all the negativity you can find from naive meme and all other types of bullshit. Because clearly you do not understand anything, right? Clearly you don't understand markets. Clearly you don't understand what it means to either DCA, up or down, or huddle, or or just anything. Um, and you don't understand what part of the cycle uh, we're getting into right now. If you are willing 
you, you held for two to three years now. Some people more. You probably DCA'd on the way down. Most of you did. If you did, that took a lot of balls. That took a lot of guts. That took a lot of nerve. And I know a lot of you did that. So props to you. But if you managed to do that all that time, why are you now complaining? We are at the home stretch. The last few hurdles are getting cleared. Liquidity is being injected. Everybody is gradually flipping bullish. Retail is nowhere to be seen yet, right? And those are the motherfuckers that you and I arguably were part of like four or five years ago. And they're going to pump the bags of people that are here right now, which is you. So, so, so why are you scared? What are you, what are you doing? And, and, and if you're just fed up and you're tired, you're allowed to, right? You can do that. You can be done. You can be fed up and, 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 and wanting to get out. But that requires decision making, right? You, you, you need to, you need to make a plan. How to get your ass out of here. The next upcoming six months to a year and a half are going to be fucking great, right? Practically everything will pump you can easily make a ton of money but a lot of you guys don't want to get out because you're underwater as you say even though you dca you're still underwater because you bought a couple of coins at 400. um i know this sounds a little bit cheeky um but that is usually the case i think if you calculate your dca i think you're a lot happier if you dca it actually but still if you are willing to hold for another three years, four years. So you're gonna, you probably held then for six to eight years waiting for the next bull run. Do you know how much money you're gonna miss? And that if you now decide to just either sell half or sell all of your QT and get into random meme coins or even BTC or ETH or anything else, everything will probably go up. And it will probably, even if it's if it's like a, a, a large cap, it will go to the 5x. If you're willing to take the plunge and you just sell your QT, buy that shit, and then sell that shit when everybody's like, holy fucking shit, it's gonna do another 10x. And then buy QT, that's gonna miss the bull run because you said that. You can easily 3, 4, 5x your bag. Your logic, not mine to an extent. Um, why wouldn't you try or do that? And then people say like, yeah, but I don't know what to buy. And that takes me back to what I said earlier. If you cannot make the decision what to buy now, how the hell are you going to decide to sell your Q&T later? And, and, and when? And what are you going to do with the money if you sold your q and I mean, there's people that, that, that are just happy with, with, with just getting, getting a decent car. Right, and that's it, and that's fine. But if you're after some form of preservation of wealth, you're gonna need to take some risks. You need to sell some stuff, some QT eventually, or other crypto, and 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 and, and invest in other stuff, right? Diversify, divest, whatever you want to call it. Um, to make sure that the money keeps coming in. So you're going to have to do some research eventually and make decisions on your own. If you cannot find an asset in a bull market that you can make some profit on, then you're in deep, 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 deep trouble. If you don't have the guts to sell Q&T right now, I get that. Right? I'm not selling Q&T right now either. Not if I can help it. Because I know it's going to go up. I will be selling QNT into this pump, right? Don't know when and where exactly, but there will be sales. I will be taking profit and I'll probably buy back in later if situation allows for it. But that takes a certain muscle to train. But if you're not willing to sell your QNT now and you rather wait, you're probably not going to sell ever. You're going to keep losing money and you're going to keep complaining. Um, j just some, 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 some thoughts. Um, there's a couple of people on, on X that you can have a look at, uh, when it comes to TA, 
um, when it comes to assessment of the markets, when it comes to FA and such. They also post some 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 memes and other stuff. Um, have a look at those guys, right? Zero, zero, Ica, uh, Crypto Negato, um, Tokenizer. Um, who else are concerned with other stuff than just QMT? Uh, the guys from Czech, right? Ultra Quamfi and so on. I mean, if you lost confidence in Quant, have a look at what those guys are doing, right? There are a couple of guys who are really established in the, Q in the Quant community. Have a look at them. Look at what they're doing, right? Uh, same for me. I'm not a trader. Um, I'm more or less also a, a gambler. I do my best to read up a little bit on stuff. Um, I, I made some calls, right? I got some tips. I listen to people that I trust. And um, I got tipped higher, degen, yo-yo. Uh, just calling some memes here. But also dog coins, which I lost a ton of money on. Uh, I got Ponke. Uh, I, I got all these these memes, right? Um, didn't put more than a couple of hundred in, just to uh, have some fun. Made me a lot of money at a certain point. Took profits. Use that to upgrade my life, which is one of my life goals. I would have never found that out on my own, but I listened to the right people, and those right people are out there. So if you're done with QT and you decide to sit out this bull run and wait for the next, that's fine. Stop complaining. If you decide, okay, I'm gonna take the plunge, you can use our woulda, coulda, shoulda portfolio. It's down in the description as an example uh, on CoinGecko. Um, and you can there sell QT without selling your QT. And just test the waters and just get busy. You can also decide to follow one of the guys, follow me to an extent, and 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 see who I like and 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 share and so on, um, and just sell a bunch of your Q and T and divest it, uh, diversify into something else, if you want to. Um, but please, just stop being so pathetic and obnoxious. Get a hold of yourself, get a grip of your situation, take control of your fucking life, your emotions, and plan ahead, plan for the future. Stop torturing yourself, right? It's uh, yeah, it's getting pretty lame, and uh, you can do better. So that's it for the rant, I think. In English, I went all over the place. Um, a lot of my mind right now but um yeah thank you so much for watching give this a like throw some comments and um uh, we'll see you i'll probably be seeing you in a few minutes because the whole episode is being recorded by me uh within a few minutes and otherwise i'll see you in two weeks in the meantime stay comfy and uh don't do anything foolish